We take you to a leper encampment close to the Jerusalem road. Micah's father Israel, his sister Ruth, live there with other lepers. Ruth is only slightly afflicted and manages to go out and get information from her brother Micah and return to the camp with provisions and clothing. The wind is cold, but the charity of Abraham's children is colder. I didn't receive any bounty today. See what I received. A rabbi stoned me, lest I should come near to his cleanliness. For my part, I would rather treat the godless Romans than with the people of God. The Romans? They have planned to take their idolatrous standards into their holy city. There will be riots, rebellions, blood running down the streets. It is the harsh, bitter spirit of Pilate. My son, Micah, knows it well. I would never sell a son into bondage with a pagan. Not even a Roman governor. My son, at least, is clean. He is well clothed, well fed and safe in Pilate's household. Your daughter is late returning. Ruth will come soon. She will bring greetings from my son. She will bring us something good and wholesome. Ruth, is my cow well? I think he is well. I have not seen him. He has left this for me by the wall where he always leaves gifts if he cannot come to me. A scroll? What use do we have of scrolls when none can read except the old? Give it to me, Ruth. I will try to read it. Give me the lantern. Ah, oh, it is from the scriptures. Who comes there? Unclean, unclean, unclean. Oh, it is Micah. Micah, my dear brother, what brings you here? My dear sister Ruth, where is my father Israel? My son, my son, you are afflicted too. So, the Roman governor, Pilate could not protect you. His clean household could not keep you clean. All is not lost, father. I bring good news with me. News that bring hope to our weary bodies and stricken souls. Let's hear what you've got to say, boy. Here, have some water. The long walk has tired you. Thank you, Father. I carry water with me. Well, for the good news, the Messiah has come. Have you seen him? Tell us more. We are anxious. His name is Jesus. A carpenter from Nazareth. A carpenter? What good comes from Nazareth? The goodness of Jesus. He speaks in parables. He cures the lame. The blind can see. He gives life to the dead. Life to the dead? Are you out of your mind, Micah? Lazarus, the beloved brother of Martha and Mary, died. Jesus brought him back to life. He talks about eternal life, love, truth, forgiveness, and peace. If he cures the deceased, why didn't you go to him? Well, you never let me say what I want to say. Jesus cured me. I am whole and clean now. I came to give you the good news. My son, you give us hope. Tell us more about Jesus. Let's sit down. Listen to what I say. Jesus gives strength to the spirit. He cleanses and purifies our souls. He is the promise of eternal life. As the shadows lengthened, Micah unfolded the story of Jesus as teacher, healer, the long-awaited Messiah, their promise and hope. Darkness was descending fast. It was time. What a beautiful story, Micah. A story of love. God's love come down to earth to redeem mankind. 
a story of hope of eternal life oh maika i wish i could hear his words my spirit is stilled i feel a great peace in my soul i can face the future without fear his words oh lord is eternal it stands firm i go now to join my master long dryness i will come again my father sister ruth and you others we live in hope peace and prayer till we meet again
Jesus crossed the brook Cedron and entered Jerusalem through the fountain gate. It was the time of the Jewish Pasch festival. The Pasch proceeded in the upper room. The apostles reclined with Jesus. They dipped and ate. They drank wine. When Jesus was silent, they spoke with animation. When he spoke, they fell silent. Events began to move quickly. The Garden of Gethsemane, the betrayal by Judas with a kiss, the arrest of Jesus. The work was finished. There was an end to the preaching, an end to the miracles. Yes, the work was finished, but the greatest miracle was yet to come. From the court of Annas to the court of Caiaphas, at this moment he was a poor specimen of man. His face was gashed and raw and swollen. Purple welts marked his cheekbones. Both eyes were puffed. His hands shook in the fetters and he was bent over like a man of twice his ears. The Messiah, not a chance. And he was in the court of Pilate once again. I am still afraid. Surely, Lavinia, the procurator will heed the warning which I sent. I want him to set this man free. The procurator has much faith in your wisdom, lady. Let me see. The noise, the crowds. Shut the door, Lavinia. I cannot bear the cruel clamor. It is the cry of the hungry wolves. Micah, surely it is Micah. Micah, but Micah, you, you, are you not a leper? I was made clean by him who now stands before the judgment seat. And I come from my master Longinus, the centurion, to await an order from the procurator. Longinus reported for duty yesterday, but he made no mention of Micah. The mind of my master lady is much occupied, and his heart is very heavy. He too fears for Jesus of Nazareth. He need not fear. Justice will be done. Open the door again, Lavinia. I find no fault in this man. I knew it. Lavinia, I go to pray. Micah, come and tell me as soon as Jesus is set free. Micah, I have not forgotten you. Nor are you, Lavinia. Oh, Micah, you are clean again and free. Yes, I am free. The hired servant, not the slave of Longinus. Then, then, Micah... We need no longer. Lavinia, though I love you, there's a great weight pressing down my spirit. What can burden you so? Set free, made clean. I think it's fear. But there is nothing to fear. There is everything to fear. The rulers of my master are set on the death of Jesus. If they kill him, I believe they will kill the Lavinas all. This is talk I cannot understand. The trial is over. The crowds are moving away. Go now to Pilate. I will tell my mistress. Oh, my Lord, I thank God and you that justice has prevailed. I knew when I sent my message to you that he was an innocent man. If that be true, justice has not prevailed. Justice has not prevailed. Tell me quickly your meaning. The innocent man is on his way to crucifixion. Let me be alone. It has been a long and harrowing day. Once again, events took on a quick and steady pace. The climb to Calvary had already begun. There were people following. It was a pitiful sight. See, lady, there is a ring of darkness round the city. Yes, I see it. It's heaven's warning. So he will die? He was destined for life. 
What do you seek, Micah? I know not what I seek, lady. Am I afraid? And I seek not to be alone. You may stay with us. All the sounds in the environment seem to merge into one loud clap of thunder, followed by lightning. The earth trembles, cracks open, and in the leper camp, the lepers huddle together in fear. Thunder! Lightning! Rain! Is it the day of judgment? This is the hour uh, Micah spoke about. The hour uh, when the Son of Man is delivered. Out of the depth, I cry, Have mercy on us, O Lord God! It grows darker. I am afraid. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. We lie prostrate, helpless, hear our cry. <laughs>